Hello. In this video, we're going to go over the R low test in the Fluke SMFT 1000. This test is used to measure resistance between any two points in a solar array. We can test between, say, a module frame and our ground rod. Uh, or between different tables of modules in a large utility scale system. We have a couple of options here. One shot will test the measurement between the two points, and then it will reverse polarity of the test. We can also do individual tests, the positive or the negative. Now, an important thing to do before before you do this test is to zero out your test leads. Connect the test leads together using the zero tool that comes with your SMFT 1000. Hit the zero button, it will run the test, and then it will tell you uh, how much measurement there is there. Now, I have unlimited resistance here because I don't have any leads connected to this uh, device. One thing to know, if you're using the 30 meter test reel, you may have resistance greater than three ohms. Unspool the reel will reduce that resistance so that you can zero out that lead. You can also set the limit for what's passing and what's failing by hitting the down button. I have this set for half an ohm. That's the NITA NTM. That's the ANSI NITA maintenance testing standard limit for a passing resistance test for two pieces of non-current carrying metal parts bonded together. You can also go in and have the device set the limit. If I go down to set limit, I hit select. Um, I can either manually put it in or I can have the SMFT 1000 calculate the limit based on our length of cable. That's how long is between the two measurement points, what type of wire we're using, and the cable material, whether it's copper or aluminum. Um, I think for here in the U.S., using a 0.5 ohms limit is a good one. And this is just going to set whether when you do the test, it's going to give you a pass or fail result. You'll still get the actual reading, but you'll get the red X if it's above the limit and the green check if it's below the limit. Um, you set the limit. I have this, let me go back. I have this set for equipment bonding. Um, I can also go in and change it to lightning protection as well if I'm doing a test on a lightning protection system. That is all the features within the resistance test. If you have any questions, please reach out to our technical support. Um, we're happy to answer them.